practice. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I think it's been awesome. I think uh, myself and the others in the room wouldn't want it any other way. Um, it's pushed everybody, including Trey and Dre. Um, and, and I think that that's how it needs to be. That's how every room needs to be. Um, competition is what's going to make everybody better. So um, it's, it's fun. Like I said, it's, it's been really fun competing with those guys. And they, we've been, they've been making me better. I've been making them better. Um, and it's been really cool to see everybody kind of grow throughout the season so far. Where do you think you guys are at from a consistency standpoint? As a receiver room as a whole, you're saying? Yeah, as a receiver room. Yeah, I mean, I think that's something we're always working toward um, as a team. And then obviously as a room, that's something we talk about all the time, consistency, consistency over greatness, um, something Coach Higgins preaches all the time. So uh, I think we've done a good job, but I think there's always room for improvement. Um, if, if we get complacent, then that's an issue. So always looking to be more consistent, myself included. Um, that's a big thing for our room for sure. Dante's, Go ahead, Jen. Dante Cephas is obviously new to the room this year. How have you seen him grow and kind of acclimate to playing at the Big Ten level so far? Yeah, I think Steve's done a great job. Obviously, coming in, um, coming in in the summer, he, he had to get adjusted just to learning the playbook and everything. But um, I think he's done a wonderful job, just meeting extra, getting extra work in with us, um, meeting with Coach Higgins, learning the plays, um, and I think it's starting to show a little bit. And I, I'm excited to see what he has in store the rest of the season for sure. So, how have you been able to elevate your game? What are the steps that you've taken in practice? You know, that's been able to help you out in terms of game play. Yeah, I, I think it kind of goes back to the two that we talked about, consistency and competition. Um, I'll, I'll equate kind of the success I've had a little bit so far of just competing with the guys in the room. It's made me grow as a person. Um, and then my biggest thing this offseason and this season really has just been staying consistent. Like we talked about, that's been our room's biggest thing. Um, so I think that's kind of what what's helped me a ton. Um, and then just every day finding something to get better at, coming in here with a plan. Um, I like being very scheduled, so just making sure I know what I'm going to do every single day, bringing other guys along with me, and then, like I said, other guys pushing me as well. It's been it's been a great battle so far. The explosive plays have been a little bit of a topic du jour uh, in terms of a lack of them, I would say, from your offense. What, what do you feel like has gone into that and what's necessary to kind of get over that hump? Yeah, I think it's kind of part of it's just how games have gone. Um, we the, the, the only step that matters is, is the Ws. So... Um, obviously, we want to be as explosive as possible, and we're going to keep working towards that. Um, but like I said, it, it kind of has this is kind of how that some of the games have been. I think the explosive plays will come, um, and we're just going to keep pushing each other and pushing ourselves to be in those right spots when those plays come, so we can make them. Do you guys have to have a, a certain attitude going into games where you know that's going to be the look that you, that you guys see um, from defenses? You're saying, and like what just sense? just being comfortable with with taking eight yards, ten yards in the passing. Yeah, I, I mean, it, it's just we we practice what we what we practice out there every week. So like, we we know how kind of sometimes the games are going to go, but you never know. Some things could change. So, um, like I said, it's just it's just working hard every single day, and, and the plays are going to come when they're going to come. So, what's it been like developing a relationship with Coach Higgins? Yeah, I mean, I, I love Coach Higgins. He's a He's done a lot for me already, um, just as a person really connecting with me, uh, instilling a ton of confidence in me. Um, and then just, just seeing the way he interacts with other guys in the room. Coach Higgins is awesome. Um, definitely glad he's here, he's, but he's done a wonderful job ever since he's been here. How much pride does this offense take in no turnovers so far through four weeks? Yeah, that's a huge thing. I mean, we, we talk about that every single day. Um, that's always one of the first bullet points on the board that Coach Yersich puts up. So we take a lot of pride in that. Um, we're going to continue to take a lot of pride in that. That's something we're going to emphasize. We do a ball security circuit every single day. So um, you, when you don't turn the ball over, that's a huge, huge way to help win games. So that's something we focus on a ton. What does that tell you about what you guys are doing? Like when you say, OK, we have no turnovers, does that give you confidence in certain categories? Um, I think it kind of just goes back to the consistency piece, really. Like, like I said, we, we do it. It's something we do every single day in practice. Um, so it shows in the games, and it's just something we got to keep working on. Because even we've shown now uh, plays that we, we could have had better ball security, and luckily it went in our favor. But um, it's just something we got to keep working towards. It's something that, um, as an offense, we take a lot of pride in. So, um, yeah, it's just something that we'll keep drilling every single day. In the offseason, how much of an emphasis did you put on route running, pass catching, all the little things to help improve your game? Yeah, I mean, I put a, I put a ton of emphasis on it. Um, I take a lot, in pride, a, a lot of pride in the way I prepare. Um, so, again, just the receiver room coming in, coming in early with Drew and Bo um, and nailing those things down was huge in the offseason. Um, and, then, and then myself just coming in, catching jugs, getting extra work in with the cues, um, watching film. That's all stuff that, that I like to do, um, that a lot of guys in the room like to do. So uh, definitely a huge emphasis on it for sure. How do you think Bo has grown in this offense? 
I think Bro's done an unbelievable job. I think, I mean, you guys have seen it when he goes in, he's always making plays. Um, he, they obviously have different play styles, and we can use both of those to our advantage. Um, but but Bo's done an awesome job. That's my guy. He's my roommate. Um, and it's been cool to watch him really excel on the field when he goes in. I feel like you guys both trying to make a name for yourself, find that, that perfect position. Um, do you guys relate to that in each other a little bit? Yeah, for sure. We're always pushing each other. Um, I mean, absolutely. I think everybody everybody on the team is always pushing each other, but, but Bo's com very competitive. I'm very competitive, so it is cool to be able to kind of relate to somebody um, that I live with. Um, I live with Trey as well. So the three of us always have had a good connection. Um, we can always talk about things and, and kind of push each other in a sense for sure. It's obviously pretty different when you go from 110,000 people in a dark atmosphere to Northwestern this weekend. How do you kind of create your own energy and how can you kind of um, infect that to the younger group? Yeah, um, I mean, it's obviously going to be different, but we got to go in with our own juice. It's always our however many we bring, 110 or whatever it is. When we have away games, it's always how many we have. So it's kind of uh, just bringing our own juice. It's, it's, it's nothing different. We were going to play every week the same. Um, and we just got to bring energy on the sideline. James said that he stopped playing music at practice to kind of prepare for that moment. What, what has that been like to kind of play in pitch silence? Yeah, I, I think it'll help. Um, obviously, the, the music always brings a little bit more extra energy, but um, no music, it kind of forces you to, to figure out a way to bring energy within your group or within the offense or defense, whatever it may be. So um, I like the idea. I think it's been good so far, and it'll help us on Saturday. You've obviously yeah, taken on a bigger role now Penn State this season. What kind of pride do you take in that? What kind of goals do you have for yourself and the team? Yeah, um, I take a ton of pride in it. Um, I'm proud of myself, and I'm not complacent, obviously. Um, I, I, our room, our goal is to obviously be the best in the country, um, but it, it starts every single day coming in and, and kind of having a mindset of, okay, what can we get better on today? Um, myself included individually, and then also looking at, at our room as a whole and thinking, all right, what can we do differently that we did from yesterday? Um, getting with the guys, watching film, like I said, catching jugs, doing all that. Um, it'll stack up over time and, and ultimately take us to our, our main goal. Um, but just getting better, 1% better every single day. Liam, how would you describe the performance the offensive line put out there on Iowa? I think people were looking for fireworks sometimes from an offense, but it was 12, 15 <laughs> play drives and, and a lot of work up front. What did you see when, when you guys got a chance to go back and review it? Yeah, I mean, I thought it was really cool to see how good of a job the offensive line did. Um, even just the perfect example of <clears throat> that fourth and one QB sneak um, where we ended up getting six yards or whatever it was, that, that kind of goes to show the mindset that our offense has and especially our offensive line. Um, so it was cool to see them have a lot of success. Um, I, I'm super happy for all those guys and I appreciate all the hard work they put in.